Hello everyone, this is Chelsea from Those With Words. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a part two of the Japan Stationery Haul to share with you from all of these wonderful brands. So I believe the first brand that I'm going to start out with showing you the goodies I got from is Classicy, or as they're also referred to as Atiparenti. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, Classicy is actually located closely to the Superior Labor Kurashiki. It's also in Kurashiki, so I um, went there at the same time. So the first item that I got is actually like a refill of sorts. I already have this letterpress memo pad, so I'm almost out of it. So I decided to get a new one. And then these stickers are just like really classic to this brand. So I decided to grab a few. And then this receipt memo pad it's kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen this one before, but it's this like really long skinny receipt memo pad. So I thought it would be really great to collage with. So I decided to grab that one. And then I also got a couple of postcards. So the first floor of Classic E's store was filled with original washi tapes and all of these good things. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't really able to take any photos because you weren't allowed to inside, but I did go ahead and grab a couple of washi tapes, which is kind of funny because at the beginning of the trip, I told myself, like, don't get too many washi tapes, but these were really, really beautiful. And, um, you know, after I filmed this video, I swatched them and then I put them away in my washi tape drawer for them to be used pretty much right away. I really love all the designs that I got. And then I got this letterpress card. Um, they make these in the green and the red color, I believe. So I went ahead and got the green one. And then this is just like a memo pad or a letter pad of sorts with this interesting grid pattern in the front that I thought was really fun. And I believe um, those are all the wonderful things that I ended up getting from Classic -y. Um, So that was a really enjoyable experience, really quiet, peaceful store, I'll say. And then this one is a custom notebook from Kakimori. I actually went to Kakimori in the beginning of my trip um, in uh, Tokyo, and I chose this like brass rings um not all the way through and i actually really like this notebook because of that reason um, because then your hand doesn't get in the way so much when you're writing across the pages and i just showed you the clasp there with the pen holder inside as well and um, the closures or like the reinforcements that i put on the front cover and i believe i put four different types of paper in here um I can't remember in what order, but they were like drawing paper, writing paper, uh, something else that I can't remember off the top of my head right now for some reason. And then the classic, you know, Tomoe River paper. So I put four types of papers in here together. This notebook, by the way, is the B6 size. And I could have made an A5 size, but I decided to kind of, you know, go with something a little bit more portable. What I'm showing you now is I believe is a, is a pencil board. So what you can kind of put at the back of the page um, to write. And that was just included at the end, which I thought was really nice. And then I went along with you could pick the front and the back cover and kind of similar designs, but with the front being like this painted color. So this was a really wonderful um, experience as well. They were very kind enough to accommodate a same day turnaround for me. So really, really appreciate the kind folks over at Kakimori for having done that. Next up are all the pens that I ended up getting. So I know you probably see that sailor box, but we're going to go ahead and start with the Uniball 1P, which is this little chonky pen. It's so cute. I know it's everyone's talking about it. And I believe you can kind of separate the middle and you can combine it with different colors and such but i just got this one color i believe this one's like called mocha or coffee um really really cute and i actually really like the writing experience this is the i believe 0 0.38 and yeah i really enjoyed it um i know for some people it's not the most comfortable to write with but i haven't had a long session with it um, but it's pretty comfortable for me so far this is just the um sarasa and it's just black ink, but it's really cute and Pokemon themed. I went ahead and grabbed this, I believe, at Pokemon Cafe in Osaka. So I went ahead and got that. Um, this one was kind of a surprise to me. It was a pencil, actually. I was like, oh, I didn't re realize that until I was 
swatching it or trying to swatch it for this video, but it is an Animal Crossing Celeste themed pencil and I got it at a pop-up in Tokyo Station. And then last but not least, I got this from Nintendo Tokyo. It's just a, an Animal Crossing um, pen and I think it just has two colors. It's just like a red and a blue ballpoint pen combination. And I mean, it's nothing wild or anything. Um, we've all seen this before, but it's in a really cute um, KK slider design. So I went ahead and purchased that pen. This is a sailor converter that I ended up getting from Ankora, which was also in Tokyo. And um, I got a couple of Shikiori pens while I was there because I don't actually have too many of these. So there's a brush tip on one end and a fine tip on the other end. And the brush tip particularly, I actually really enjoy for brush lettering. And then I ended up getting these um, cartridges for free, um, I believe. Yeah, I, I think that was a gift from the shop. And I think I chose blue black. And this is a custom fountain pen that I got to put together at Ankora. So I believe the cost of this was around 4,000 yen. So I think the exact one, if I remember correctly, is 4,400 yen. Um, and you can pretty much choose every single part of this pen, like from the top to the hardware color. I think the only thing that was fixed was the nib, which is the MF nib. Um, and I think you couldn't really choose any other size, I don't think. Um, but pretty much everything else you got to pick. And this was definitely something that was on my to-do list when I wrote down a list of stationery stores that I wanted to visit and like things I wanted to do. Um, so yeah, hopefully you can see a better close up of the nib there. And I thought the converter would be a really good match for, um, this pen. I went for like a slightly amber pink, you know, like a mix of different colors in my pen. And I thought that was really fun. And now I'm trying to figure out if the cartridges came from that purchase or this one. So this purchase is from Nagasawa in Osaka. This was pretty much my first stop as soon as I got to Osaka um, because it's near Osaka Station. So now I'm figuring out, oh yeah, I got, that was from Ankora and I got more cartridges from uh, Nagasawa. So this is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Chaksa Mini set. So it comes with the Kobe ink with the Chaksa Green Mini or um, yeah, Green Mini bottle. And then you can see here the pen. It is so beautiful. Um, I had my eye on this before I left for Japan, um, knowing that I believe, you know, Nagasawa should hopefully have it at their store. Um, I was also looking for like a very specific um, mustard. I believe it's called Karashi Soel uh, Twisby from Nagasawa, but they were unfortunately sold out of that. So I just went ahead and got this pen, which is a stunner. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I have never had a uh, Pro Gear Slim Mini before. And I went ahead and got it in the M nib, which is where, you know, my handwriting, I think it feels the most comfortable with Sailor nibs um, for regular use. So yeah, really excited about this purchase and I'm super thrilled to be able to have this in my fountain pen collection. So those are a lot of the pens that I ended up getting on this trip. I know they're not all from the same location, but I wanted to group them to show you. Next, we're going back to some other washi tapes that I got from Kurashiki. This was from the MT shop. So I got a few and as you'll notice, they're all opened because I opened them to journal with them when I was there. I used a lot of these to tip in ephemera into my travel journals. So they're all open. Um, that's like a craft looking one. This one I really love. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's textured. So like those white lines, they um, stand up a bit or stand out a bit from the rest of the washi tape. So I really like that one. This one is just the color scheme that I really like. Orange, yellow, and green with a bunch of fun little dots. This one looks a little bit more like fabric to me, um, which I thought was really fun. And I'm trying to show you the pattern better, but I cannot find the end of the washi tape, which I feel like most of you can relate to. But yeah, really like that one. And it's smaller as well. And then this particular one I really like as well, because I believe these are like designs from Kurashiki or inspired by Kurashiki. So 
I got that roll too. So those are all washi tapes that I actively purchased and used during the trip, which, you know, I can't say that for many of my other trips. I don't usually use a lot of the stationery right away, but that's what ended up happening. And it was actually quite fun. The next place is called Tamaru Inbo, and this was in Kyoto. And this was a stamp shop. It was stamp heaven. Um, they had so many beautiful, handmade, cute stamps. I think this one says like perfect or something like that. And I'm trying to show you the other side of each stamp so you can see like just how handmade and amazing these are. And I got this tree trunk one, these beautiful flowers. Um, some of them are really small, like though some of the other ones that are coming up are really small. This one's pretty small too. It is a lantern. And I try to grab ones that I felt were, you know, reusable. These are like particularly the tiny ones. So I'm trying to figure out how to show you those. So that's a cherry blossom and a, a leaf, a really, really beautiful. And this is like a little tiny tree. I'm like hoping that the camera can focus so you can see that a little bit better. And then these two... Um, it's like hot pot and noodles. And I'm like, perfect. I eat that all the time back home too. So <laughs> I went ahead and got those. It was really hard to choose um, between all the stamps there. But yeah, that was a really fun experience. The next place I got to visit, this was completely by happenstance. While I was on the way to Traveler's Factory Kyoto was this place called Morita Inbo. I hope I'm saying that correctly as well. And they also had a lot in there. It was a pretty small store, but they had quite a few fun things. So first I got a notebook stamp with my initial on it, because why not? I feel like it's fun to sign off letters and postcards with that. And then there's this like really goofy set of stamps where it's like a person's face, but on a um, on beer. And then this is like a toilet paper roll with someone's face on it or like a little face on it. I just thought that was so funny. And I went ahead and grabbed a coffee set as well as a set of stamps with bread and rice on it because I love bread and rice. I love my carbs and some coffee. I also finally found some mini Shachihara stamp ink pads here. I think they had them at Loft, but maybe I just like missed them or something. I don't know. There was just a lot of stationery at Loft and I was a little bit overwhelmed, but I found them here. So I got a couple of colors. And I ended up getting these alphabet set stamps as well, which I'm really excited about. I was originally hoping to get the Shachihara version. So I'm showing you the numbers that I already have that are from Shachihara. I ended up getting those from the stationery selection a couple years ago, I believe. And I just like could not find the alphabet versions of those anywhere in any of the stores that I went to. Again, um, I didn't comb through every single detail of every aisle of every store. So maybe I just like missed it somewhere. But um, I found that alternative and it's actually coming in really handy right now as I'm catching up with my travel journals. So those are a lot of the stamps that I ended up purchasing. I knew I would get a lot of stamps, but... Um, Feel like I got a little bit too much. <laughs> These are just the two simple purchases I got from Hobonichi store or which was called Tobichi. I just got like a card sticker um, and a card holder so I can pretty much put this is just a sample card of like washi tape um, washi sample that I received which I already finished using but I can go ahead and like put those into that card folder um, inspired by Ohai Joy. So um, yeah, Joy inspired me to get that card holder to use. And then now I'm showing you um, a bunch of fun postcards that I ended up getting from the post office. I got this from Tokyo Station, I believe, that particular location. Unfortunately, they were sold out of the post office glue stick and the post office pen. Those were the two items that I was also looking for, but that's okay. Um, I ended up getting some fun postcards. These are some small scissors that I ended up getting from Muji. Um, they were recommended by um, our friend Annie um, in the community, um, Alo, And I actually surprisingly quite liked these. Um, I used them afterwards on a piece of paper and I was able to um, cut through, like, um, you know, cut curves really easily. So that was really useful. This is from Tatsuya Tanaka. 
um, a miniature artist. Um, I think, you know, this person is very famous for their miniature works. And they had like a little exhibition at Muji when we stayed there at the hotel and everything. So I ended up getting a postcard book from the store. Up next is Itoya, uh, which I was also um, visiting when I went was in Tokyo for the first couple of days. I actually didn't buy too much from Itoya. It was really fun in the sense of, you know, I got these two Shikiori markers. Um, it was really fun in the sense of, you know, it's like so many floors of stationery, but a lot of the stationery that they had at Itoya were very like professional and polished. Um, I also got these two card holder type things um, because I wanted to use it in my Plotter Mini. Um, and that's the six ring one I have. But yeah, um, I got this, uh, you know, just like a cover page um, for the Bible size that you can use, like these separators, which um, are really pretty and pastel colored. And I also ended up getting this one fun refill, which was one of the few that I found that were like super unique and fun. Um, it's like a coffee refill. So you can write about the brand, the, your rating, acidity, you know, all of these like fun details for coffee. They had it for like ramen and a couple of other things as well, but I ended up getting it for coffee because I do love to drink coffee every day. But yeah, a lot of the stationery there was super polished and I actually didn't buy as much as I thought I would. These are, I think, now getting into all of my miscellaneous purchases with the Snorlax patch and this Pokemon Cafe notepad set. I think I got these also from the Pokemon Cafe store. Like they have a huge store that's attached to Pokemon Cafe. Um, and I ended up getting these from there and they fold out and it's just, I don't know, it's really fun. Um, the designs are really cute and I thought it would be really easy to share some of that with friends and like Happy Mail and things like that. This one is an Animal Crossing notepad and I thought it would be fun to write notes on these. Again, I'm um, also to send along in Happy Mail and such. And I got this one, I believe, from Nintendo Tokyo in Shibuya. So all of my purchases are all mixed up from different locations at this point. This one is a set of clips, KK Slider, Celeste, and Blathers. Um, Blathers is my favorite, so when I saw that, I really wanted to get one. Um, so I'm hoping to use it similarly to those clips, although, although I think the design is a little bit different. So um, it's a bit of a, a skinnier clip at the back, but... Yeah, that was really fun. That I got from Tokyo Station at a pop-up store. And then this one is just a fun chocolate-themed letter set, which I just thought was cute. Um, and then this one is one of the few, I think, cherry blossom-related things that I ended up getting from this trip. It is a notepad, another notepad. <laughs> but the art is really beautiful, and it's in like this more watercolor-like style. So I thought it was really, really nice. And it was one of the prettiest designs that I had seen. So I ended up adding that to my basket or adding that to my physical cart, if you will. And these are some of the really fun stickers I got. They are just from all over the place. So, um, you know, hopefully I'll be able to remember some of it I got from Loft. Some of it is from Daiso. Um, I, other ones are from like various pop-ups and such. Um, I think the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet ones I'm showing you now actually came with our visit to Pokemon Cafe in Osaka. So I didn't actually even buy those. They gave them to us. And yeah, they're just really fun, cute, thematic, you know, stickers, character based, non-character based. This is the only Kita that I bought, <laughs> Kita tapes during the trip, um, and they were Mizutama themed. Lots of Mizutama things as well, like memo pads and things like that. And I saw a lot of this um, B-side label stickers while I was there. So I got like a strawberry milk one, I think that one was. And these two um, onigiri stickers, or one is a spam musubi. So that was really cute. And I think some of these are new Mind Wave stickers, if I'm not mistaken. So I saw these at Loft and then this My Diary one. Just really cozy um, and, you know, nice pastel color schemes that I usually go for in my journals. So I went ahead and got a couple of stickers. This is just a really silly purchase. This is a vegetable pencil case. They had it in the corn and the sweet potato theme. And if you know me, I love corn. 
and it's just so cute and I think I got this at Daiso it was just made me laugh and yeah I just I saw it um, my partner looked at me like you're gonna get this right <laughs> so I ended up adding that to my cart and this is a really fun clear file I got this from one of the many Snoopy stores that were actually around I think I got it from Kyoto if I remember correctly and it's just the classic art um, infused with peanuts characters and it's just it's so cute I laughed so much when I saw it because of how cute it was so I did get one clear file out of this trip and I believe I'm trying to put together everything now on the screen to show you again um, you know all of the things that I ended up getting um, I chatted through it really quickly um, and so yeah, I did again end up purchasing quite a lot of stationery. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but this is probably um, the most stationery I've bought uh, this video and my previous video like at one time. And I saved up for months leading up to this trip. And so, you know, I was in a good position to be able to buy all of these things. But um, yeah, it was still like a very new experience for me. Um, one that I probably won't repeat anytime soon but I am looking forward to you know using all of these things and incorporating them into my journaling so there you go thank you so much for watching bye